A crash leaves two people dead in Margate. It happened early Christmas morning, and now we're learning new details about the victims. Local 10 reporter Trent Kelly is live on the scene with this update. Trent. Yeah, Janice, the driver of that car, just 24 years old. He was killed out here yesterday along with his passenger after his souped up Honda Civic ended up crashing into one of these palm trees here just behind us. That car breaking into several pieces. Now we're hearing from some of his heartbroken family members who say a nitrous oxide tank may be to blame for that violent explosion. 24 year old Craig Williams identified as the driver of the car. His girlfriend, Rihanna Loban, just 19 years old, was riding as a passenger. Their souped up Honda Civic smashed into pieces yesterday following a horrific Christmas Day crash. I seen the, the, the girl on the floor, the, 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 the kid was on the floor. You could tell that it died on the impact. Very sad. Investigators say the car may have been speeding down Royal Palm Boulevard near 441 when Williams lost control around 1 a.m. and crashed into a palm tree. The impact so powerful, his car burst into pieces. Even the engine went flying. Williams and Loban were both ejected and later pronounced dead at the scene. Loved ones telling us the couple had just left a family Christmas party. All came in. Craig's in an accident and it's bad. Friends and family later returning to the scene to collect some of the car parts left behind. Williams's uncle sending us this photo showing the car before that deadly crash. That was his hobby, you know, cars. He built the car from scratch. Loban's family telling us she had just recently graduated from Blanche Ely High School and was already planning to take nursing classes at FIU. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier, Williams' family also telling us that Civic was equipped with a nitrous oxide tank, which basically allows the car to go much faster than normal. They believe that tank might have exploded when he hit the palm tree, causing the car to break into so many pieces. At this point, though, we're still waiting on police to confirm that part. To get the very latest on this ongoing investigation, you can follow me on social media at Trent Kelly WPLG. For now, that's the very latest live here in Margate. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.